Monsoon doesn't just mean pounding rain. It can also bring dry lightning and gusty wind, potent ingredients for wildfires, one of the season's biggest threats. Typically during monsoon season is when we start to see a decrease in our fire activity, the precipitation, the somewhat cooler temperatures and that increase in humidity. But if we don't have any of that, then that's just going to prolong our fire season. When monsoon storms pop up but don't drop any rain, dry lightning can suddenly spark a fire. We saw that in 2020 when the Bighorn Fire erupted in the Santa Catalinas. It was a uh... Very dry year, kind of at the beginning of the monsoon season. Brian Robinson remembers it clearly. He was part of Northwest Fire District's medical response team on the front lines of the fire, as it burned nearly 120,000 acres. And just the fire activity was very aggressive. Um, those guys did what they could. They saved a lot of houses. Most wildfires in Arizona, about 80% of them, are started by people, according to the State Department of Forestry and Fire Management. But during monsoon, dry lightning becomes a much bigger risk, especially during dry monsoons. Last year, for instance, we had that abundance of moisture, so it really put a stop to our fire activity very quickly. The year prior to that, we really didn't have a monsoon season, so we were constantly running from one fire start to another because of all of the dry lightning associated with those storms. Not only is each year unpredictable, so is each storm. The outflows on those things can be really erratic, 60 miles an hour plus I've experienced. Blows that fire everywhere, causing spot fires, containment lines are compromised and it can be a very bad situation and you just come back in when things blow over and try and pick up the pieces and might have to come up with plan B. Like everyone else in Southern Arizona, firefighters need to be ready for the weather to change abruptly. In the past, Robinson has had to call his crews off of fire lines as they were buzzed by lightning strikes. For me, it was just a gut feeling, knowing what I'm looking for, listening to weather reports, those kinds of things, and just paying attention to, to what's going on around me. Not all dry lightning fires are a problem. In remote areas, they can take out overgrown fuels before burning out on their own. But people and property can be threatened at any time. We definitely got it in our thoughts and we train on it and make sure that we're all on the same page. So when that emergency comes, it's hopefully smooth transition and we can help where, where we're needed.